Hi, my name is Damon J. Shearer, and I am the middle and high school film and drama teacher here at ASIJ, and I'm also the director of the fall play this year, Sherlock Holmes, The Baker Street Irregulars. Audiences might not even really see, but the process that we had in rehearsals while kids were deciding their characters was allowing the actors to be fluid, allowing these characters to be fluid. And so I think processes like this really help us move forward in that idea of equality and equity toward gender if we can just normalize the conversation that maybe gender is not just uh, what's written on the page uh, and what happens when we just really let these human beings that are characters in our story be just human first um, and that, 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 that gender identity be kind of second. My name is Sofia and I am playing Sherlock Holmes. When we get a character as an actor, one of the things you have, you have to start brainstorming about how the character is gonna walk, how the character is gonna talk, and this is influenced a lot by their backstory. One of her main things in her backstory is that she probably had to fight to get to the position she's in, more so than a male Sherlock, just by virtue of being a woman. I ended up choosing to walk with a knee center because that's a little more authoritative. It helps her look straight at the people she's talking to. I did like also have to reflect on the like situations that I've been in before where my credibility was maybe questioned just by virtue of being a woman. And I used that, like I incorporated that in my characterization of a female Sherlock. We still have majority male playwrights. We are still reading plays that are majority written by males. And yet most of the people who are studying theater in high schools uh, and universities are female. And I hope uh, in the future, this generation of, of theater makers will work to you know, change it. Let's start telling some new stories. I do think that it's really, really important to just diversify our art. If there is a field like theater that has been male dominated, it is kind of crucial to be able to incorporate more women or people of color, just diversify the art environment. Our students didn't have any real trouble being able to switch it over or being able to imagine it a different way. I think it also speaks really highly to uh, our students and this generation of human beings to know that the human experience is wide and vast. I heard this analogy before, but a big part of music is not the notes that are being played, but the notes that aren't and why. So when consuming art, being like knowing what a diverse and what a good art is like, you can analyze other art by the notes that are not being played. That's what I love about theater, is its ability to um, very casually um, create change. Even though this play is not about gender equity, most likely people will walk away from this uh, situation from this from watching this play and have conversations about all sorts of things um, that will change the way that they see the world and just a little bit at a time they begin to see themselves and they get to begin to see humanity for what it is that is the gift of theater and it's the reason that um, we've been doing it as human beings for thousands and thousands of years um, and I'm really humbled to be just one more human telling stories uh, in this way.